girls and guys, it's Presley, and today you won't believe what just happened this week. I mean, it was a pretty crazy week, and I couldn't believe it myself. So, Tuesday morning, I woke up to get ready for school like any other normal day, and I noticed I couldn't find my cat, Elizabeth, but I call her Lizzie. And I have, I have other pets in the house. I got another big cat, and then I got a dog. They were in the house, but I couldn't find Elizabeth. So I tried looking out the backyard because she likes to play out in the backyard, but I couldn't see her. So I tried looking for her and she wasn't anywhere near the backyard. So I asked mom, my mom, or my dad, where is she at? And my dad said that my mom took Lizzie out of the backyard so she could play. But as soon as my mom came back to let her out, she was gone. And I couldn't believe it myself. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Which makes sense because she can easily jump the fence because one, she is three years old. She knows where she's going. I'm sure she does. Two, she is not declawed. She has her claws, so luckily when she goes outside, she can defend herself. Three, um, she has flea medicine so she doesn't get any fleas. And she's also up to date on her rabies shots. So thank God. I'm sure she'll be, I was like hoping she'll be safe, but I was super, super worried about her, especially when I went to school. I couldn't, I was like, couldn't stop thinking about her. I was just, but I did focus on my work at school. That's good. But at the end, as soon as I got home, I tried looking for her out in the backyard again because my mom said she went out the backyard and left. And no luck, I couldn't find her. So I tried the front yard while I took my dog out to pee. And no luck. I tried calling her name, no luck either. And then Wednesday morning came by, no results, nothing happened. And again, I was still worried about her. I missed her so much. I just, you just couldn't imagine how much I really missed my cat. But I did hear from some my of my teachers at school, cats have a special ability to know where home really is. And I'm like, you know, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool ability to know. Like, cats have really good eyesight, good hearing, and a good sense of smell, too. And they can defend themselves if they have claws. But my other cat, Cash, the big fat guy, yeah, he's a pretty big fat cat. He is 11 years old and he's pretty old and stuff, so I didn't need to worry about him since, you know, he's he stays in the house and he won't be able to get out anytime soon. So Wednesday night, I was so tired. I came, um, when I came home from school, I did everything. I came home from school, got really tired. I passed out, went to bed, but Last night, my mom came in my room and said, Lizzie came home, and I, and I, was, and I said, oh, whatever, just, just let me sleep. I heard what she was saying, but all I wanted to do was just sleep. I mean, yeah, that's cool, Lizzie came home, but please let me sleep. And she let me sleep, she left, and I woke up, and I remembered what mom said from last night. Lizzie came home, and as soon as I opened my door, Lizzie was peeping out, checking on me. And when I picked her up to put her on my bed, she was purring, she missed me, she missed everybody. Also, my mom told me that, um, that my dad found her out in the backyard, uh, in front of the backyard door crying because she was thirsty. For some reason she wasn't hungry because I'm sure she was hunting for some food by herself, but she must have been thirsty. So my dad let her in finally 
And after she was done getting drinking some water, she laid by my the other cat, Cash, right in front of the front door. That was so sweet. It was so sweet. I wish I had a picture of it, but they didn't take any pictures. I was asleep. And I'm so relieved that Lizzie came home safe and sound. And I'm, I, I, I was worried about her, even though cats have a very special ability of knowing their way home. And I want to show you where Lizzie is right now because she she's in a pretty comfortable spot taking a nap but I want to show you guys anyway, so. So when I tried looking for Lizzie, so she can like, so I can like record her and stuff, I found her in my older brother's room taking a quick nap. And as you can see, this is the crazy child. Say hi to the YouTube people. No? She loves this room, but this room is always closed because my older brother is in college and he doesn't want my dog coming in here, pooping in here, because for some reason, the dog that lives in this house always poops in this room for some stupid reason. I don't know why, but I'm so glad you're home. Oh, where's Purrs? I missed you. Oh, there's a the good girl. I'm surprised she made it out unscathed and stuff. No fleas, no injuries. She just came back like it's just, she was, it's like she was done playing, you know? It's, it's so funny how when she left, my mom um, was thinking that she was, uh, you know how us humans leave to start a new life and go to college and stuff. It's like, it's just like Lizzie almost. She wanted to leave the house like she thinks she's all grown and she's like, bye Felicia, I'm, I'm going out on adventures by myself. I'm tired of exploring the backyard. I want to go adventure off in the distant lands. Adventure Time style. Lizzie, you want to listen to the story? She don't give a damn. As soon as I saw her in front of my uh, in front of my uh, bedroom door, I was like thinking, "Where in the hell were you?" I guess only she knows. Only she knows where she went. And I'm so glad she's okay. I missed her ass so much. And anyway, I might as well end this video here. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.